Vitae has already been placed on the IR. So it begins. Welcome back to an all new episode here at Let's Talk Lions. My name is Jay. Thank you for hanging out. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Word has hit that Vitae, our right guard, is already down and out on the IR. So we will not be seeing him for the first four weeks of the season. Here we are six days out from the season opener and, and the injuries are already here it, it's deja vu for me and probably for you because last year a few days before the season began it was decker who had the finger injury and then he was out for eight games and here we are here we are right as we're about to start this season off and the o-line is so vital for the detroit lions that is our top position group it is. That's our best position group. And to see that Vitae is already down and out and knowing that these five guys are five men in the trenches that we have yet to see together all out playing on the field with one another. And we're not we're not going to see we're not going to see it again for at least the first four weeks. And that is so disappointing. It is what it is. But my God, is it disappointing? I mean, our O-line has been thought to be a top five in the NFL. That That's what it is being projected as, top five. And uh, if you can't stay healthy, that'll never be. And the O-line is so vital for the Detroit Lions offense. And, and it's vital for any offense. But what I'm saying here in Detroit is we need this O-line together to stand firm. Because with them, Goff will have time. The routes will be able to be made. The play action can be established. The run game, blah, 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 blah. And here we are. So, a huge bummer this evening, hearing that Vitae has been placed on the IR. With that being said, we just need the next man to step up. It's like, okay, you could sit here and you could wallow about it, whatever. But in the end, doesn't matter. Move on. We need somebody to step up, and who is that going to be? Who's going to be able to join Jackson, Decker, Ragnow, and Sewell. Who's going to be the guy? Because behind them, you obviously have Stenberg, Kramer, Nelson, and Brown. And the Lions did just claim off the waivers. Cleveland Browns offensive lineman, Drew Forbes. So, hey man, this is, this is where it's next man up. And you get an opportunity, so make the best of it. And I really think this is where like Stenberg uh, or I would say Kramer have the best shot at filling in that hole, filling in that void. Uh, so we will see as news continues to come out, really what we're going to be doing here, uh, who's going to be filling in. Huge bummer seeing Vitae go out this early. It's just, it's deja vu from last year. So shout out to my coworker and friend, Grace, who was able to snag me this old school lion's hat. It's actually, it's awesome. I don't know if you can, you can see that, but it's pretty slick. She knew somebody who was getting rid of it in a garage sale and said, I'll take that. So well done. I don't know why I finger gunned. It's not my go-to move.